dancers, welcome back. We missed you last week, but we're thrilled to have you back with us this week. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kay, and I am the co-founder of The Dream Project. Hi, dancers. Welcome back to another week of NDI Dream Live. We are so grateful and thankful that you're here. My name is Aggie, and I just want to take a moment to remind you, especially those of you who are just joining us for the first time, all of the videos that lead up to this week are all housed on the NDI website. So we encourage you to go back, to look, to practice, to make it your own. We really, really encourage you to do that. I also want to just remind you that the warm up is different. It's a little bit different this week and last week. And so we go over some of the things that we do with my mother, Evelyn, who is 92 years old and lives with us. So we've been practicing and learning with her as we go through these weeks. In this next clip in the warm up, you'll see that we actually share some of the things that we've learned with her. She is diagnosed with Parkinson's and with Alzheimer's, so it makes it more difficult for her to move. She loves dance. She loves to move, probably very similar to many of you. So enjoy the class, have a great time, and we'll see you on the other side. All right, this week we have a lot of guest artists as my co-teachers and assistants. Look for Evelyn, Aggie's mom, who's 92 years old, joining us again, and a lot of children from our dream family. We have Avery, Josie, Greta, Sophia and Daniel, Morgan and Emily, Isaac, Ava, Jack. Joining us this week for the first time, we have Veronica. Meet Veronica, she's pretty spectacular. And we have other members of the NDI Celebration team who are absolutely part of our dream family joining us also. And our musicians today, we have Miha, we have Tony Allen, and Yakir. Woo! All right, it's a lot of guests, but it's gonna be a big party at the end. Let's get ready. Grab some water, have it nearby. Make sure you've got some clear space around you. I don't know how big your room is, but just clear out some space so you don't run into anything. Safety is very, very important. And let's get ready. Hi everyone. We just wanted to show you some things that we do with my mother, Evelyn, to help her. So we've learned a couple of things as we've practiced over the week, so we hope you have too. One of the things we know is that my mother has some difficulty lifting her arm up. So when we're doing the warm up, we just simply make a sandwich. We call it the Evelyn sandwich. And we actually can do the warm up like this. Uh, we can ask her at one point, look for it. You see me asking her to lift her fingers and I'm able to stretch her fingers up. She tells me all the time, it feels so good. And then from there, we can actually bring her arms up, right? And as she's turning, sometimes I'll even switch an arm and I'll help her with my hand back here so that she turns and then I cue her and say, look at me. So she turns her head and she looks at me. By the way, this is Sophia the Great. So all the time I'm asking her to use whatever's available to her. So in the video, you'll actually see that she's able to turn and look at us when we ask her to, to look our way. The other thing is that she really enjoys getting that proprioceptive feedback. That's such a big word, but really all it means is feels good waking up the muscles. So she'll actually reach down and you'll see in the turtle when we go down like this, we're cueing her to tuck her chin and look down. And she's absolutely able to do that. When she comes down here, some of the things we'll do is we'll give her that feedback, that tapping, tapping feedback. And she'll be able to do that through my hand, through her hand, into her own leg. So these are just some things that work for us and maybe they'll work for you as well. Oh. Good, sit up nice and tall and rotate. Circles. Whatever that means to you is fine. Other way. As much movement as the torso, in the torso, is available to you. Good. Now come to the center and tilt forward. Reach your nose toward me and then up to the ceiling. And then push back. Pull your belly button into your spine. Round your spine like a turtle shell. Good. Take your nose forward, long giraffe neck. Look up and push back, turtle. Good, and roll your shoulders. Whatever movement is available. 
is to lower your eyes or close your eyes, whatever's comfortable for you. And let's just take a moment to connect with the breath. Just notice, where do you feel the breath in your body? Is there a temperature to your breath? Does it feel warm, cool? Can you feel your heartbeat? Deep breath 
again. And exhale. Good. One more time. Rub the heads together. This was your warm up. Any tension that you might have, any anxiety, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And now find a place in your room and throw it away. I'm going to throw it out the window over there. Beautiful. All right, we're doing new steps, but I want to, last week we talked about the bookmark, which is where we left off. Just like if you're reading a book, you leave a bookmark so you know where you left off and where to begin. Where we left off last time is we were in an interesting shape with our prop. Yes? So the good news is the first eight after our interesting shape, we freeze. So make sure it's an interesting shape, but something you can hold. So we go five, six, do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other thing you can do when you make your interesting shape is drop your prop. So you're ready with your interesting shape. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Next, now I've dropped my prop. I'm just gonna leave it there as long as it's safe and I'm not gonna slip or trip on it. I'm just gonna leave my prop right where I was and now I'm gonna isolate. Isolation means pick one body part and move just that body part. Could be two body parts, like I could move my hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could move my eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could move one kneecap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get the idea. So let's put those two together. I'm gonna to go back to my chair with my interesting shape here. I had my prop, something like this, over my head. Good, and I freeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I drop two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I used my hands and my foot that time. Now, the next thing you do, make sure that prop goes somewhere where you're not gonna slip on it. The next thing you do is swing. So if we are on a swing, or if you've ever seen a swing in a park, or a wave, the movement sort of goes down and up, and down and up side to side. Translate that into whatever body part. If you're in a chair, you can move your chair side to side, or you can take your head and shoulders side to side. Swing it, five, six, I go first. Swing, and swing, and swing, and swing. You try it, swing, and swing, and swing. Maybe it's my knees that swing. Swing, and swing, and swing, and swing. You try it, swing, and swing, and swing. Maybe my fingers swing. Swing, and swing, and swing, and swing. You try it, swing, and swing, and swing, and swing. Got it? Freeze, isolate, Swing. Try it. Uh, yes. I don't know. Today I'm in the mood to stick my foot in the air. <laughs> freeze. Five, six. Here we go. We freeze. Two, three, four, five, six. We isolate. 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 We swing. We swing. We swing. We swing. And, and to bring it home, you shake something. You can take your shoulders, you can take your hands, you can take your head, you can take your eyelashes or your eyebrows. Five, six, I go. Shake and shake and shake and shake. You try it. Shake and shake and shake and shake again. Shake and shake and shake and shake. You try it. Shake and shake. You could use your knees and legs. It's shake and shake and shake. Okay, let us put that together. I think you got it. It's pretty simple. Five. Six, and we're gonna start with the freeze. Five, six, seven, family photo. Two, three, four, five, six. Isolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Swing it, swing it, and swing it, and swing it, and shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, and shake it, and shake it. Finish. Make a nice, strong pose. This is props part two. Let's call it props part two. Freeze. Two, three, four, five. Swing it, swing it, swing. Oh, swing. Oh, swing. Oh. And shimmy, shake, and shake, and shake, and shake, and finish. Yes. Good. I think we got it. So I'm going to go right 
to putting that all together with last week's props. Props, part one, up and down and up, then all around, all around, and all uh, fireworks. Five, two, three, four, fireworks, and fireworks, and answers choice. Three, four, five, family photo shape. Freeze, two, three, four, five, six, isolate, isolate, and I so swing it, swing it, swing, and swing, and swing, and shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, and shake it, and shake it. Finish. Beautifully done. Let's add a little music. This is Mika's drum track. Uh-huh, up and down. Ready? A steady do it with me. Five, six, here we go. We go up and down, and up and down, all around. All around and all around. Fireworks. Dancer's choice. Three, four, five, six. Family photo. Freeze. Two, three, four, five, six. Isolate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Swing it, swing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got shimmy and shimmy and shimmy and freeze. Don't worry if you forgot, that's okay. I'm gonna give you a little hint. Later on, we're gonna hear Tony doing vocals on this. And in the part where it goes props, James Brown's lyrics are up and down and all around. So it'll help you know what to do. So look out for that, not right now, but later on. But let's do it with some music. In our real thing, this will be a dance party, but for right now, let's just do it with this mm -hmm. Get ready, get that prop. to review, um, but I'm going to go through it fairly quickly this week because I'm hoping many of you have seen the previous video. So we have the four eights of dance party, that you make an entrance, we'll get to that in a second. But the steps that we've learned before, let's review. The windshield wiper, five, six, here we go. Windshield wiper, windshield up, down, up, down, up, down, and back it up and up, down. Second set, same thing, shield wiper, wind shield Wipe up, down, up, down, and back it up, and up, down, and back it up. That's the windshield wiper. If you're standing, you can travel forward a little bit and then back it up on the back up. If you're in a chair, you move your chair forward on the windshield and do whatever arm part is available to you, and then you back up on the back it up. Two sets of windshield wiper. Then we do scrub the puppy. Scrub the little dog. Scrub the big dog. Scrub the little dog, scrub the big dog, any direction you want, as long as there are lots of doggies in your room. <laughs> you can also go scrub the puppy, scrub the puppy, 
and just do two sets if changing directions is not so easy for you. So five, six, here we go. Scrub the puppy, scrub the puppy. Then you get on the roller coaster. Five, six, seven, we go. Jump, whoa, 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 make a picture. All right, let's put those two things together. I'll do it in my chair, and then I'll have some of my friends show you standing up. Five, six, here we go. Wind, shield, white, perk, wind, shield. Up, down, up, down, and back it up. Up, down, and back it. Wind, shield, wind, shield, white, perk, wind, shield. Up, down, up, down, we back it up. Up, down, scrub the puppy, scrub the puppy, scrub the Joel roller coaster. Whoa, 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 make a picture. Nicely done. Now, I'm gonna count, I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna let my friends take over, but I'll call up the steps. Five, six, seven, eight. It's wind, shield, white, foot, and wind, shield. Up, down, up, down, back it up, up, down. Try it again, wind, shield, white, fur, wind, shield. Up, down, up, down, and back it up, and up, down. Scrub the puppy, scrub the little dog, scrub the big dog, scrub the little dog, scrub the big dog, chill. Whoa, 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 make a picture. Nice. You can press pause and do it again if you need a little bit more review. Otherwise, going on, we have the cross open challenge. Our legs, our arms, our eyebrows, whatever, go cross open, shake it, shake it. We do three sets of that. Cross open, shake it, shake it. Cross open, somewhere else. Cross open, shake it, shake it, wait. We got soul. And in the cross open challenge, it's really dancer's choice what direction you face. You can take your chair on a ride around the room. You could turn a circle. One of them could be cross open, shake it, shake it. Yeah, nice big jump if jumping is available to you. Otherwise, really shake something. All right, here we go. Putting that together, this is the review of the super bad combo. Five, six, do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up, down, up, down, and back it up. Up, down, and back it up. One, two, three, four, five. Windshield wiper, up, down, up, down, back it up. Really change levels. Scrub the puppy, scrub the little dog, scrub the big dog, scrub the little dog, scrub the big dog. Jump to up, jump. Whoa, 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 here's the cross open. Cross open, that's one. Cross open, that's two. Cross open, that's three. Wait, we got soul. Add a little music. somewhere safe. <laughs> you can go out of the frame to go get your prop and then, you know, fast feet or rolling or just bringing it with you to get back to the spot for the props. Now we do props one and props two. Should we try that much together? All right, let's do it. Entrance. Second set. Up down. Scrub that puppy. Scrub the little 
Dancer's choice. Two, three, four, five, six. Then we follow them. Into the C-shape. Two, three, four, five, six. Isolate. Isolate. And I so swing it. Swing, swing, swing. Shimmy, 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 and cross. was famous for his groovy moves. I don't know if you know, but the moonwalk, he called it, it was a camel walk, it was slightly different, but Michael Jackson got the inspiration for the moonwalk from James Brown. He also did amazing movement where he did fast feet. He also was groovy, groovy. So the last set of two eights is going to be a James Brown improvisation. If fast feet are available to you, I definitely encourage you to do the quickie kicky like Veronica. <laughs> Watch Veronica do the quickie kicky. Yes. Good. Everybody try the quickie kicky. If feet aren't available to you, you might do your fingers. You might do the quickie 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 kicky with your shoulders. It's not so easy to say. You might take a roll around the room. Yeah. But groovy, channel James Brown. All right. So that is 16 counts of the James Brown. And then there's one tiny thing. It's called a break. Ba, 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 ba. So we have 16 counts of kicking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ba, 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 pose. Good. Now we're gonna do the break. Ba, 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 
I find love and healing. May I find freedom. May I find peace. May my family find hope. May my family find love and healing. May my family find freedom. May my family find peace. May the world find hope. May the world find love 
and healing. May the world find freedom. May the world find peace.